We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. We forgive May 16th. Often it is while working on this step with our sponsors or spiritual advisors that we first felt truly able to forgive others, no matter how deeply we felt they had wronged us. Our moral inventory had persuaded us that all-around forgiveness was desirable, but it was only when we resolutely tackled step five that we inwardly knew that we'd be able to receive forgiveness and give it too. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 58. What a great feeling forgiveness is. What a revelation about my emotional, psychological, and spiritual nature. All it takes is willingness to forgive. God will do the rest. This vital step was also the means by which we began to get the feeling that we could be forgiven, no matter what we had thought or done. Another great dividend we may expect from confiding our defects to another human being is humility, a word often misunderstood. To those who have made progress in AA, it amounts to a clear recognition of what and who we really are, followed by a sincere attempt to become what we could be. We woke up to life in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, not understanding how we really got there. We were scared and hopeless, just where we needed to be in order to stop digging lower. We admitted we were defeated. We were powerless and unmanageable. We conceded to our innermost selves. Staying in the middle of the program, we found a higher power and turned our will over to that power, committing to continue with the rest of the steps. Not knowing what we were agreeing to, we forged ahead with our sponsor's guidance to complete the soul-searching and fact-finding needed to know what we really were. We saw the ways in which our resentments, fears, and selfishness had kept us isolated and disconnected from the world around us. By being honest with ourselves, our God, and another person about exactly who we are, we are able to move forward as new men with a faith and a higher power to take care of our defects of character taking them all, root and branch. We were absolved by our higher power, and we begin to get the concept of forgiveness of others. Being always ready to be forgiven by others for our harms done, we selfishly thought we should be forgiven because we justified our inappropriateness when we were drinking. Now we know holding on to resentments of others is a poison we take expecting them to die. Resentments don't do anything to the other person. They live rent-free in our heads. What we think about grows. Let's think good thoughts. In order to do it, we have to stop living in the past by reliving harms done, real or imagined. The past is the past. The present is the gift. Step 5 helps us forgive others and ourselves, which together with Step 6 and 7 enables our spiritual side to remove our shortcomings making today unbelievably wonderful and unexpected. Our rebirth is real. We need the help of our higher power. We ask for the willingness to forgive, and then we trust that God will do the rest. This does not mean that we simply sit back and wait for forgiveness to happen. We take action to repair the harm we have caused, make amends where possible, and work to become better people. We forgive May 16th. Often, it is while working on this step with our sponsors or spiritual advisors that we first felt truly able to forgive others, no matter how deeply we felt they had wronged us. Our moral inventory had persuaded us that all-around forgiveness was desirable, but it was only when we resolutely tackled step five 
that we inwardly knew that we'd be able to receive forgiveness and give it too. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 58. What a great feeling forgiveness is. What a revelation about my emotional, psychological, and spiritual nature. All it takes is willingness to forgive. God will do the rest. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.